Hi, I'm Margaret and welcome to my artsy corner of the internet. Today, we're gonna talk about what is the difference between lyrical, modern, and contemporary? Because they all seem very similar, and they kind of are. We're gonna start out talking about lyrical because I feel like it is the easiest because it is the most contained, maybe. Starting out with the name, lyrical sounds like lyrics. Lyrical is basically a reference to a dance that is done to a song with lyrics. Obviously this doesn't narrow it down because you can do pretty much any style except for like maybe classical ballet to a song with lyrics. So obviously there's more to it, but basically lyrical comes from doing it to a song with lyrics. The easiest way to think about lyrical for me is it is a modernization of ballet. So it's a ballet form done to music, usually with lyrics, usually not done on point, and it's a little bit more modern. Not as in the modern dance style, but modern as in relevant to the days and times currently. It's also described often as somewhere in between ballet and jazz. So if classical ballet is over here and jazz is over here, lyrical is like somewhere in between. <laughs> it takes jazz and makes it softer, but it also takes ballet and makes it more like jazz. The technique is more like jazz, but the aesthetic is still very much like ballet. Lyrical dances have a connotation of being like softer and more focused on being pretty or beautiful than maybe other more modern styles of dance. So it keeps that ballet aesthetic of long lines and pointed toes and uh, what else is in ballet? Uh, I guess you could call it like a commercial ballet uh, where we have like commercial jazz or commercial hip hop. It's kind of like a commercial ballet in a sense without point. Maybe that's not a great example to use. One important thing to note about lyrical is it's basically only used in the competition dance sphere. You're not gonna really go to a college dance program and hear anybody talking about lyrical. So if you go to a dance competition, there will be many, many lyrical solos. And basically you only have to watch about five of them before you kind of get the gist. It's also more of a choreographic style than I would say an actual technique. Uh, very rarely will you ever find a lyrical class, um, unless if it is a class that is teaching you a lyrical dance, usually for competition. Basically is a style that I feel like was kind of created for competition so they could have a category that wasn't ballet. So that's basically the lyrics. Lyrics? No, that's not the lyrics. That's basically what lyrical dance is. How is that different than modern? I would say modern dance refers more to the concert dance trends that were happening in the 20th century. I like to call modern the hippie child of ballet. So a lot of modern dance, you know, they, they stopped wearing point shoes and they stopped wearing shoes altogether and danced barefoot. They stopped wearing the traditional ballet clothes and wore long skirts and danced with their hair down outside in grass, which you don't do in ballet. So the things that I associate aesthetically and movement wise with modern is being very grounded, staying in your plie for a long time. Also a lot of use of the torso. Where ballet, you're very like upright and have good posture. Modern dancers begin working with the contraction and you know, we have Graham who's all like, <gasps> and that, you know, you wouldn't do that in ballet. So they started using their torso more. Where ballet, you don't really go to the floor ever. Modern, they said, we're gonna spend the entire class on the floor. Modern dancers also gave a lot of weight to the emotional emphasis of dance and really emoting with the body and letting your emotions kind of take control of your dance. They were very dramatic. <laughs> I think another good word to use when talking about modern dance is organic, where ballet can sometimes feel very mythical, ethereal, otherworldly. Modern really tried to get down into the ground and to the roots of earth. So if ballet is ethereal, modern is earthly. While modern definitely did stretch the boundaries of ballet, you can still really see that modern came from ballet. If we're looking at all styles of dance in the entire world, ballet and modern are still very close in similarities, but you can definitely see how modern stretched the the boundaries and broke the rules of ballet. When we talk about modern now, 
we're really talking about that 20th century dance. So it started with Isadora Duncan in the early 20th century and her style of Duncan technique was very, very similar to ballet. Probably the closest modern technique that we have to ballet because it was the first. So she kind of took ballet and took away a lot of the rules. And she was also very inspired by Greco-Roman architecture and statues. So she did a lot of like, ooh, I'm a Greek woman pouring water out of a vase. That was kind of her thing. And then from there we get Horton and Graham, which are probably two of the most well-known modern techniques. As they went on through the 20th century, we also got Lamone and Taylor and a bunch of other modern techniques. So when we talk about modern now, we kind of talk about all of the people who were creating new techniques in the 20th century. So we're talking about Duncan, Horton, Graham, Lamone, Taylor and others that popped up. So you wouldn't really say that you did modern dance unless if you were specifically talking about one of those techniques. So if somebody says, I do modern dance, a typical question that will follow that is, oh, what style? And then they'll usually say, oh, I do Horton or I'm a Taylor dancer or Cunningham. That's another one, Cunningham was a thing. So while the styles might be similar to lyrical, Modern is more talking about an era and it gets a little confusing because it's like modern, but it's not really modern because it was happening in like the 1930s. It's kind of like how in uh, like visual arts, we have modern art and then we have postmodern art. It's like they called themselves modern for the time, but now they're kind of outdated. So, but we still call them modern. So yeah. Modern dance kind of refers to specific techniques, but also kind of an era of dance. Okay, so then what is contemporary dance? Well, contemporary dance is kind of the next evolution of modern dance. So in the 20th century, we had people creating new techniques, which now we all lump together in modern. And now in the 21st century, we have people creating new techniques and we kind of lump them all together in contemporary. But we're not really in like a historical element. We can't look back on contemporary dance like we can modern. So we don't really have specific this person's technique. Right now we just have a bunch of people who are working currently in the contemporary era and that's what we kind of call contemporary dance. So whereas modern use ballet as a basis to build their techniques, modern contemporary dancers are using modern as their base to build their new contemporary techniques. And a lot of it's very similar. They are working on floor work, they're working on being grounded, they're working on a lot of the things that modern dancers were doing, but they're just stretching it and changing it and letting it evolve. Basically, they are evolving modern dance. And with a base of modern dance, which has a base of ballet, they're taking things from hip hop and house and jazz and all of these new styles of dance that have evolved also you know independently from modern and they're kind of starting to take elements of those and putting them into contemporary for example modern dance didn't have a whole lot of improv maybe in like the later part of the 20th century and improv became more important but contemporary dance there's a huge emphasis on improv and that i believe probably comes from the freestyle element of hip-hop and other urban styles of dance I don't know if urban styles is the correct term, but it's a term I hear a lot, so I'm gonna use it. But I should also say that lyrical, as I said, is more in the competition commercial dance sphere. <laughs> and modern was more in a concert dance context. Contemporary is different because it exists both in a commercial competition sense and a concert-based dance sense, but they use the same word. So contemporary is kind of just a catch-all in the concert world for anything that is happening in the 21st century. So you might go to a really, really strange contemporary dance show where the person's like rolling around on the floor and then eats a sandwich, and that would be called contemporary dance. If you go to a dance competition and see a bunch of contemporary dances, it's gonna be very different, you know? In a competition sense, I would say contemporary is like the angsty sibling of lyrical where lyrical they're usually in skirts and it's pretty and it's all just about being beautiful and light and look at this high leg contemporary they're usually in like unitards and they're like there's a lot of reaching a lot of pushing 
a lot of like eight-year-olds doing dances about heartbreak and you're like, uh, okay, cool. It's been a while since I've been to a competition, but yeah, this contemporary is just angsty. <laughs> So contemporary in a commercial context is different than contemporary in a concert context, but they're still similar, I guess. I would say that that's basically a rundown about the difference of those three styles. Um, they are distinct, yet they're all kind of similar, and yeah. So as a quick summary, lyrical is a modernized ballet form that you'll see primarily in competition dance. Modern refers to techniques that were created in the 20th century that modernized ballet in a different way. And then contemporary is kind of a catch-all for the modern choreography that is being researched and created in the 21st century, kind of taking and modernizing modern dance. That's how I would describe the three. Let me know if you have different opinions on what they are, because let's be honest, this is art, so it's all kind of fluid and crazy and makes no sense sometimes. But thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And, uh, bye.